How y'all doing? My name is Frank Mallory and this is the uh, 1973 Winchester Model 320 that I did some restoration work on. I just wanted to show you that. And uh, this this gun has been there and done that. This was an old uh, farm implement. I mean, you, something you use to, to get rid of the critters in your fields and stop them from, from eating, eating your crops. You don't want rabbits and crows out there. And um, so yeah, it had a lot of rust on it. Uh, this is a five shot 22 bolt action. Uh, I'll show you the other side in a sec. It comes with three clips, which is really neat because these are hard to find, three factory clips. Um, so I cleaned it up, I removed the rust. You can see there's a lot of patina, uh, a lot of places where you do remove the rust, uh, you're gonna have the bluing just gone, but no harm to the metal, really. Just keep it oiled, it'll be fine. I did the uh, gold insets onto the, the lettering here, which again, this area is very worn, a little hard to see, but uh, there you go. Uh, Winchester Model 320, 22 short, long, long rifle, New Haven, Connecticut, and then uh, the Winchester inset right here, which came out real nice because that's not a high wear area. So, and then uh, matching the barrel, with the wear on this piece was the stock which was heavily used also uh, didn't look anything like this really and I refinished it um, this had so many nicks and, and scratches and, and stuff in it that I needed to really just color fill and that came out really pretty nice for what it is you know guys back in the day used to have those brass clips on their slings and they would carry their rifles like this across the fields and would just scratch you can still see the little dents here both sides from that it's the way it goes but uh so i use this bri brie wax and that works excellent uh if you got a darker finish on a gun hides the scratches and then i went over it all with carnuba so it came out pretty nice i added the the sling just a basic sling, but you know what? Uh, nylon and comfortable. Here's the other side of the gun. Actually even looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? And again, th this gun, you gotta realize the metal on this gun was brown with rust. And uh, you know, that's just how it goes. This is a working tool. This was a working tool. So uh, that's about it. Uh, the cleanup and the lettering and stuff and the Fixing the stock. I even did, I know it's kind of hard to see. See that? Look at that. Orange dot sight on the front. And this is extremely helpful for offhand shooting with open sights. Uh, just a little thing. You can do it yourself. And why not, man? Why not help yourself out? I got some interesting ammo here. Uh, this is some vintage uh, Remington. Look at this brick of Remington standard velocity from the 1970s. I used to compete in high school with this very ammo. I had a case of it, uh, and I, obviously I still got some left over. This is an old uh, Al Freeland 22 cartridge box from the 1930s. My dad gave me this when he was eight. Pretty neat. You can still find these at gun shows and stuff. And then some various other ammo. So I just wanted to show you real quick how you can... Uh, kind of clean up that old heirloom of yours and uh you know it's fun and rewarding have a good one